that's all in sports tonight, but we have the arts and entertainment coming up, so you have the details. Yeah. Thanks yeah. so much. In commemorating 2019 as the year of his return, Ghanaian international reggae artist Rocky Dawini has released his seventh studio album titled Beats of Zion. In an interview with GBC24, the artist revealed that he intends awakening Africans to the imperative need of taking control of their destinies. He's doing this through the lyrics of his latest music album. The international music star and humanitarian Rocky Dawuni has over the years connected the dots of Africa, the Caribbean and the US with his unique craft, skills and arts in reggae music. His style of music appeals to both the young and old and also unites generations and cultures across the globe. The artist hails from Bumbum, Naye, in the northern region and is a member of the royal family of the Kukumba tribe. Rocky's music is focused on behavioral and social change and towards development. The artist's love for reggae music developed at a tender age as he grew up in Michelle Camp, listening to live band music from the military band. The artist has six albums to his credit and is also the founder of the Afro funk music movement in Los Angeles. Dawuni is currently out with his seventh studio album titled Beats of Zion. Exclusive interview with GBC24, the artist explained the rationale behind the establishment of the Afrofunk and its impact on global music. As an artist, I also made, you know, a decision at some point that the only way that, you know, I can be able to access the world was to travel to the world, move out there, you know, start breaking boundaries, start creating levels, you know, and when I go to a place and I see that, you know, that place doesn't ha was not prepared for me. I create a system there. So it led to me even going to, you know, staying in Los Angeles and creating uh, a club there called Afrofunky because I knew that it was Hollywood. Rocky Downey says his current album, Beats of Zion, is the core card for the year of return as Ghana commemorates 400 years of the end of the transatlantic slave trade.